Welcome back to our video modules on mechanics and materials. Please note that I've switched my X and Y axes to correct a mistake from my earlier video. Sorry for any confusion that caused. Today, I'd like to imagine that we're going to take a look at our beam. We know that it's being stretched in this direction, in the X direction, and we know it's contracting in the Y direction due to our Poisson ratio. However, we're going to apply a secondary force. We'll call it force B. And I want to know now, how do we think about what's happening on the beam? Today, we're going to talk about multi-axis stress, how to think about it, and how to run the calculations. So in this case, let's be a little bit more careful and we'll draw ourselves a free body diagram rather than just going off of a sketch. We have in the vertical direction, our force A, we have our applied force in the downward direction, and then we have some sort of reaction force, force A, in the vertical direction. Likewise, in the horizontal direction, we have force B, and here is another force B, a reaction force. The best way to think about this is to view it from the perspective of superposition. Let's pretend that this beam is being pulled in the vertical direction from one perspective, and the horizontal per direction in another perspective. Corresponding to each of these forces, hence there's going to be a stress, hence there's going to be a strain, we know in the vertical direction it's going to be elongated like this. And in the horizontal direction or in the y direction it's going to shrink. Likewise, if we look at the beam just from this perspective of the second force, it's going to be stretched in the horizontal direction and going to shrink in the vertical direction. So by using superposition, we can find the strain due to A in both the X and Y directions and add it to the strain due to force B in the X and Y directions. And this will equal the total strain in both the X and Y directions. So for example, the strain in the X direction is equal to the stress in the X direction, which is due to force A divided by E, minus the Poisson's ratio times the stress in the Y direction divided by E. Likewise, if we wanted to find the deformation in the X direction, we'll simply take the length times the strain in the X direction. A quick reminder that components in tension are positive, and if we wanted to add a third dimension, we could do so fairly easily. This equation right here summarizes strain due to multi-axial stress. Thank you, and I look forward to catching up with you on our next video.